guitar strings. The reason that they only last for about two or three months before they become tone dead is because the guitar string manufacturers do not want to produce guitar strings that last longer because they want people to continue to buy more and more guitar strings so that they continue to make more and more profit. Right? They could easily make guitar strings that last long by using carbon nanotubes, but the big uh, steel mills and copper mills and nickel mills and so forth have a secret contract with the guitar string manufacturers to prevent this. And the government has a monopoly on the production of carbon nanotubes. So this goes all the way up to the top, my folks. This goes all the way up to the top. You cannot produce carbon nanotube guitar strings because the government won't allow you to do it and because guitar string companies and steel mill companies won't allow you to do it either. Anybody that has tried has come up dead. All right, how'd you guys like that little conspiracy theory I made? Sounded almost convincing, I think. Sounds about as credible as a lot of the other conspiracy theories that are out there. The thing about conspiracy theories is they're pretty fun to think about, but the reality is, is that the vast majority of them are complete bullshit. They are made to make our world seem like it's more interesting than what it really is. All right, and I'm sorry, but it's just not that interesting of a, of a world. Um, and there's n never any real evidence for any of this. It's always conjecture, hyperbole, and it's always based on a house of cards, right? Where th things that are kind of loosely might go together are said to definitely go together by the conspiracy theorists. Connecting dots that really can't be connected properly, or that shouldn't be. And so that's my uh, quick little take on the conspiracy theories. It's not that hard to make them, but it is fairly easy to debunk them if you so choose to do so.